rivalry between Chevrolet and Ford in the truck segment has been legendary, but the latest generation of the Ram 1500 has disrupted their dominance, triggering alarms at General Motors. Now, the new 2025 Silverado 1500 is redesigned and ready to take on the best-selling half-ton pickup, the F-150. The exterior of the truck is updated, interior tweaks are eye-catching, and we might see a new engine that will elevate its performance to a whole new level. Diesel powertrain is still available for the 2025 Chevy Silverado 1500. The company will refresh trim levels and colors, but not all details have been disclosed in these early stages of development. <laughs>。The new Silverado isn't heavily redesigned, but the changes it brings are refreshing. Minor exterior tweaks will make it more appealing, while the primary focus of the current update is more on the interior. Improvements will make the truck more comfortable for work and long trips, new infotainment features are something it will be talked about, and additional safety options will provide greater peace of mind. Revised dashboard now features a larger multimedia screen, with an option to upgrade to a 17.7-inch display. Even the driver's cluster is larger. The center console offers storage for items like keys, wallets, or phones, and a small backpack can fit under the armrest. The base package includes basic equipment, making it more of a workhorse. Don't you worry, the 2025 Chevy Silverado 1500 can become quite luxurious with all the options the company is going to offer. Some of the goodies you can find in upper trim levels and additional packages are perforated leather, premium audio, or a head-up display. The truck maker should keep the current lineup of trim levels and cabin configurations. The working truck is an entry-level version, with the LT is a significant upgrade, adding plenty of goodies. The RST package brings distinctive and sporty look, making the truck easy to spot. The Trail Boss is a good option for off-roading if you don't need high-performance upgrades. Otherwise, we recommend investing in the Z71 or the top-of-the-line ZR2. On the other hand is the High Country trim with its premium perks. It will be cool to see the Redline package again, one of the most recognizable cosmetic upgrades Chevy has offered recently. Cypress Gray is the new paint job for the 2025 Chevy Silverado 1500. The company might drop a color or two and add a few more shades. <laughs> Under the bonnet of the new Silverado, we might see some radical changes. A pair of V8 units, a 5.3 and 6.2 displacements, are well known for their performance and durability. However, they are also very thirsty, dropping the gas mileage well below 20 miles per gallon. General Motors might follow industry trends, drop big 8-cylinder power plants and replace them with smaller, turbocharged 6-pod engines. The problem is, we can't find a suitable choice in the current lineup, so GM would need to build a new drivetrain. That shouldn't be an issue, especially if they want to stay competitive. Ford already relies on smaller engines, while the Ram 1500 will also deploy an i6 starting with the 2025 model year. These configurations boost the fuel economy while maintaining high power output. Still, many truckers will complain about turbo lags. However, as long as these engines get the job done, there's no reason to be upset. The entry-level option remains a relatively new 2.7-liter turbo 4. It is pretty potent with 430 pound-feet of torque and 310 ponies under the hood, maximizing the towing capacity to 7,900 pounds. It will be easy for the new turbocharged six-cylinder engine to match power outputs of V8 drivetrains, but the hauling potential is more important. Silverado needs to raise the bar from the current level, set at 13,300 pounds by a 6.2-liter mill and beat the Ford F-150, which is rated at 14,000 pounds. Diesel fans still have an option in the half-ton class. While main rivals have dropped their oil burners, the 2025 Chevy Silverado 1500 will keep a 3.0-liter Duramax drivetrain. It can deliver 305 horsepower, 495 pound-feet of torque and tow 13,500 pounds. A 10-speed automatic gearbox serves as the power router for all engines. <laughs> for off-road adventures you'll need both a capable powertrain and a proper package of features that will help you drive through tough terrains. Three different configurations will make the Silverado a true adventurer. The Trail Boss adds a special suspension that lifts the truck by 2 inches, immediately making off-roading more exciting. Plus, you will get special wheels and tires. Optionally, truckers can select the famous C71 package with a longer list of goodies. Skid plates protect the underbody, while a bedliner ensures cargo remains secure. 
Hill descent control is included for easier navigation through steep descents. Don't worry about the dirt, special heavy-duty air filters will keep it away from the engine. A two-speed transfer case and the dual exhaust outlets boost the performance, on and off the road. However, for the ultimate experience, you'll need the Silverado ZR2 trim. The Multimatic DSSV dampers and high-performance lifted suspension make all the difference. While this version may not directly compete with the likes of the Ram TRX and F-150 Raptor R, it stands out as one of the best off-road configurations in its class. Opting for the Bison package can further enhance both the look and performance, especially if you choose to add a snorkel. <laughs> the debut of the electric Silverado is finally expected to happen next year. Well, besides the name, it doesn't share too many things with the classic truck using internal combustion engines. Instead, it is more similar to the new GMC Hummer pickup, but that the Chevrolet Silverado EV brings a distinct approach to the electric segment. With its midgate design, you can fold down the barrier between the bed and cab, providing extra storage space. Do you remember when the Avalanche used to offer this feature more than 20 years ago? When it comes to performance, the electric Silverado is juiced up with a battery that can last 450 miles, while the fast charging system needs 10 minutes to juice up an additional 100 miles. A dual motor configuration enhances the outputs and the maximum towing capacity is 10,000 pounds. It will be interesting to see how the truckers are going to accept new electric units. Sure, the numbers are impressive, but that's just part of the marketing game. When you're hauling 10,000 pounds, don't expect the battery to last 450 miles. Also, recharging network isn't widespread enough, maintenance costs a lot more, and the initial price tag isn't exactly a steal. However, technology evolves. Compared to just a few years back, the electric automotive industry has made leaps and bounds. There's no doubt that the main battle in the truck segment is among US truck makers. The all new Toyota Tundra is drawing a lot of attention, especially with its hybrid unit and Trail Hunter off road package, but it's still not in the top league. Ford is a step ahead the competition, and the Blue Oval updated its half ton pickup last year. Raptor is a dominating force in the off road segment, and its fiercer sibling, the Raptor R, has entered the scene with 720 horsepower and 640 pound-feet of torque. This was in response to the Ram TRX, so-called Raptor Killer. But, we'll see if this configuration is coming back for the 2025 season. The Ram 1500 is heavily updated, with an inline-six engine replacing the V8 as the main story. Because of that, Chevrolet had to revise the Silverado for the new season. Another option from the same company is the Sierra with the GMC badge. If you are after a luxury truck, no other package can beat the Denali Ultimate trim found for the Sierra 1500. <laughs> the new 2025 Chevy Silverado 1500 half-ton pickup truck is going to debut late in 2024. Following the redesign, prices are on the rise. The cheapest configuration includes the regular cab, standard bed, and the WT trim. With tons of options available, the price can easily escalate with each upgrade. We already mentioned trim levels, but there are also double and crew cabs, short bed, four-wheel drive, optional individual features and premium colors that can push the MSRP close to the $80,000 mark. Still, buyers can choose options that suit their ride and needs best, keeping the price at a reasonable level. <laughs>